This is a number series. So look at the series 2, 8, 28, 54, 53 and then question mark. You have to find out what comes in place of question mark. Now try to observe the trend here. The numbers are increasing. Initially if you see the numbers are increasing. 2 becomes 8, becomes 28, 28 becomes 54, 54 becomes 53. So up to 54 they were increasing. But then there is a drop. From 54 there is a drop. Right? They are starkly increasing. And then there is a drop after this. Right? Number has dropped. From 54 it has become 53. I was just trying to show the... Sorry. Yeah, one second. Sorry about this. Sorry, here we go. So this question, like you all know, is posted by Rajesh. Number series question, right? What are the numbers? 2, 8, 28, 54, 53 and question mark, right? Our job is to identify what comes in place of question mark here. Now try to observe the trend first, right? If you if you see the numbers are increasing initially, right? 2 becomes 8, 8 becomes 28, 28 becomes 54. Then 54 drops to 53. So up until 54, the numbers were increasing and then it dropped. It dropped to 53. So what do you think could be the rhythm? What, what do you think could be the ki kind of operation which has been performed here? I think clearly it looks like some, some kind of multiplication, right? This is not like an addition series. It's, it's like multiplication because numbers are sharply increasing, right? Now, the one thing which I usually... Uh, apply whenever I see two consecutive numbers like 54 and 53 right 54 and 53 are two consecutive numbers in the reverse order right so when I see two consecutive numbers in the reverse order like 54 and 53 the first thing that strikes my mind is maybe it is into 1 minus 1 maybe it is into 1 it could be could be could not be I am assuming it is into 1 minus 1 so 54 into 1 minus 1 54 into 1 is 54 minus 1 53 assuming this is correct try to apply uh, logic which is in, in line with this for the previous set of numbers. So 28 and 54. Now if you see 28 and 54, 54 is actually close to double of 28. 28 into 2 is 56. Into 2 256 minus 254. So it looks like this is into 2 minus 2. Now I'm getting some confidence. I'm getting some confidence that maybe I've got the pattern because it is into 1 minus 1. This is into 2 minus 2. 28 into 2, 56 minus 2. So if I continue, maybe if it is if I continue linearly, it could be into 3 minus 3. 8 into 3 minus 3. So just check that. 8 into 3. 8 into 3 is 24 minus 3 is 21. But here we have got 28. It's not working. Into 3 minus 3 is not working. So into 1 minus 1, into 2 minus 2, into 3 minus 3 is not working. Uh, but then into 4 minus 4. You see 8 into 4 is 32. 32 minus 4 is 28. Into 4 minus 4. 8 into 4, 32. 32 minus 4, 28. Now, the first question that pops up is, how is that 1 becomes 2 and then 2 becomes 4? It is like doubling, right? 1 doubles 2, 2 doubles 4. So, this should also be probably doubled. So, double, 4 becomes 8. So, now apply, what happens? It could be into 8 minus 8. Check if it is satisfying. Yes. 2 into 8, 16 minus 8 is 8. Good. I think we have got the logic. Into 8 minus 8, into 4 minus 4, into 2 minus 2, into 1 minus 1. You understand? 2 into 8, 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 into 4, 32, minus 4. 32 minus 4 is 28. 28 into 2, 56. 56 minus 2 is 54. 54 into 1 is 54, minus 1 is 53. And if I, you know, extrapolate this, what happens? If you see 8 becomes 4, half. 4 becomes 2, half. 2 becomes 1, that is half. 1 should become 1 by 2. So into 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. What is 53 into 1 by 2? 53 into 0 0.5. 53 into 0.5, 26.5. 26.5 minus 0 0.5. 26.5 minus 0.5. 53 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. Which comes out to be what? 26. So that's the right answer. And I'll tell you, the, the, I mean, I got the idea just because of this. I used into 1 minus 1 the moment I saw 54 and 53. It may work, may not work. Remember, there's no hard and fast rule that always it should be into 1 minus 1. It could be into 1 square minus 1 square, into 1 cube minus 1 cube. Or it could be some other logic randomly, right? But you should get these kind of ideas when you look at such numbers. And then try thinking divergently so that you can crack the logic in those 15, 20, 25 seconds that you have in the exam, right? Anyway, the answer to this question is 26. Here, what is the um, this thing that is being followed? So you have 0 0.5, correct? 0 0.5 plus 0 0.05 is giving you. 0.55. Similarly, 0 0.55 plus 0 0.1 is giving you uh, 0 0.65. Similarly, 0 0.65 plus 0 0.15, right? 0 0.05 you are adding in each step. So that is giving you 0 0.8. So next one will be 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 that is equal to 1. That is option C.